could just sense from the minute I got on campus that there was a want uh, for me to be here. Uh, individuals wanted me to be here and were confident in what I could do and the difference that I could make here. So that feeling of knowing that people value you, that was definitely one of the main reasons I came here. I chose to go to UMA specifically because of the great research possibilities and academic possibilities and also the helpfulness of the faculty and the professors. My favorite part about UMaine and the US in specific is all the people that I met that I now call family like my teammates and my lab mates and my professors and everything that's helped me on this journey. So I've been working with uh, Dr. Kate Ruskin at the School of Biology and Ecology here at UMaine um, on a project with the National Park Service and our project has been looking at uh, stakeholder perspectives of freshwater resource management in Acadia National Park. That article is actually in review at um, Ecology and Society right now which is ex exciting. So during part of my sophomore year in my junior year I was a member of Undiscovered Maine. We worked a lot with small businesses uh, just trying to get their names out there because there's a lot of small businesses in Maine which makes up a really large part of Maine's economy. I'm from one of the regions that we focus on which is Aroostook County so I got to interview some people in my hometown and write stories to try to help promote their businesses. For my honors thesis uh, I've been doing a project um, in conjunction with the mechanical engineering department and the title is Near Field Thermal Radiation and Graphene Based Systems. So we analyze uh, thermal heat transfer for um, different configurations of graphene and substrate material. At the University of Maine, I've been inspired to do a lot of different things and I've had a lot of different dreams. One of those was exploring the polar regions and I was able to do that with the Juno Icefield Research Program. And also starting a business, I was able to get business coaching from the Foster Center for Student Innovation, which really helped my business succeed. So yeah, there's been a lot of different experiences that have, have really kind of shaped me. The professors were amazing. Like they provided us so much support, so it just made it easy. I'm like, we would literally just stand in front of our professor's door and she'd be like, okay, come in, let's do this. I'm like, thank you so much. It's the best. Like my dream, my ultimate goal is to be able to design artificial organs and then implant it into patients. So we don't have to look for like organ donors or something, we just make the organs and then just put it in. One of the things I really um, am grateful that I did is um, joining the International Student Association as part of the exec board. By doing that, I was able to set an example of, you know, who I am as a Korean student. And it was a very eye-opening um, experience for me to be the example and kind of teach others about my culture and kind of solidify my identity. I think University of Maine was really good in uh, helping me networking with people and learning how to find value in many different things. There were lots of classes that I'd taken that at first I wasn't really interested in and I found that every class has something to offer and all the professors are actually excited to, to learn the kids something you new, know, something they've never heard before. I'd say that the university has given me all of the opportunities and resources needed. I've met some great faculty, I've been directed towards some great resources, especially through uh, the library, and I'd say that uh, the people I've met here in general have been a great support system in helping me achieve my goals. I actually came in to UMaine as a nursing major, um, but I really found that my passion lie in microbiology. So we had to take microbiology for nursing, and especially the lab, who I had with Dr. Bernard, who's a really animated professor, and he really fostered in me a love for microbiology, and I had never really been introduced to microbiology in high school or anything. I switched soon after that. My anthropology courses have um, allowed me to gain new perspective and to be more aware of cultural diversity. I've been able to have dreams and then have support to be able to make those dreams my reality. I'm currently enrolled in the accelerated track for mechanical engineering, so I'm currently graduating with a Master's of Science in Mechanical Engineering um, in 2023. Soccer really mimics life, uh, sport mimics life in so many ways. There's challenges and you have to really think on the fly. No matter what game plan you have or what strategies you have. First of all, don't let fear drive you. It's fun and it is, there's so much in this world to learn about and I am 58 years old and I am graduating with my degree from the University of Maine and 
I am very proud of that and, and I highly recommend it and encourage anybody who uh, feels like they want to go back to college to just do it. This is a journey and it's going to be the journey of your life. So bet on yourself. By not going for it, you miss out on so much. And at the end of the day, like, so many doors open and you get to really see your progress when you just go for it. If you have an interest and you want to explore it, your passion will get noticed. And you will be able to find the support here at UMaine to be able to fulfill your dreams.